I'm really glad I found you. I wanted to apologize. For what? I mean, I, I, I was the one that was being really harsh to you, so... No, no, Mom. I, I know you love me, and you're just nagging, and that bothers me, but you're just being a mom. Here. Thank you, honey. Okay, Mom. Uh, Mom. What? Um, you're still hugging me. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, Ashley, there's something that I, uh... I want to tell you. Mom, Mom, it's okay. It's okay. I know, I know you love me. I know you don't do all this emotional stuff. Thanks for the talk. That looks good. Hi. Hello? You mind if I join you? Is there anything I could say that would stop you? No. It's not because I'm, you know, just a pushy person. It's because you're such a, such a nice guy. Listen, I, I wanted to say that I think it's great that you asked Rave to move in with you, and uh, not just because he needs a place to stay, but I'm sure he can really use someone to talk to. The poor kid's a little confused right now. I'm just trying to help him figure some things out. It hasn't been easy for me either. No, I can't. And you know what? You could encourage him to hate us, and, and no one would blame you, really. I don't want Rafe to hate his mom. Maybe just me, just a little, little bit. I don't hate you, Olivia. And I don't want Rafe to hate you either, all right? I try telling him that, well, there's no point in being bitter about the past. I just hope he can learn not to be bitter about the future. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good. Great. Yeah? I'm fine. I threw up a couple times this morning. I don't... Oh, sorry. Do you... No, no, no. Here, sit down. Sit down. Thank oh. you. Um, let me let me just give you some some water. Oh, there you Thanks. go. I just I don't know. I think I have maybe a little food poisoning or something. Sorry. Yeah, food poisoning. Yeah, I mean I guess we can't be pregnancy if you're with Olivia. So. Um... Could I be right, though? Is there a possibility that you're pregnant? <laughs> possibility? <laughs> you know what? I just lost my appetite. Oh, wait, wait. Wait what? Wait, what is this, a victory lap for No, you? no. Lee, I didn't come over here to make you feel bad. I swear I didn't. I just... I, 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 I've been where you are. I, I, you lose someone that you love because they choose someone else and it hurts and, and the worst part is is you, you you can't just turn that love off what do you want me to say nothing nothing i just want you to know that i'm so sorry and i feel terrible that i had any little part in breaking your heart oh you've done that before that must have felt good to say it did actually and I'm not apologizing. You shouldn't. You don't have to worry about Rafe. The most important part is him getting back on track with his mom. Agreed. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Frank. Now that we're being honest with each other, Yes, I do still love Natalia. And I know she loves you, yes. But there's one thing I don't know. And that is, are you the right person for her? Not because you're a woman. Just because of who you are. Hi, Frank. Hi, baby. Hey, honey, how are you? Are you coming to the barbecue? Um, you know what? 
I'm not sure. I, I, I might have to work, so. Well, we hope so. It wouldn't be the same without you. I gotta go. See you, Michael. I'm gonna make these. What you got? Oh, red, white, and blue crispy treats? You know, that sounds great, but you have a play date with Julia today, remember? I know. You can ask them to help. Hmm. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> I just... I thought that it... It hasn't been that long since you broke it off with Frank, so... I thought maybe it, it might explain a, a pregnancy. But it doesn't, because you're so Catholic. I know that. And, and people have told me that. I mean, people have told me what a strict moral code you, you have. But still, you were going to marry Frank. And I just assumed that you were sleeping with him. I mean, you know, who gets married without sleeping with someone? Right, you do. I'm not doubting that. I know that people exist that are strict about sex. I just thought they were all over 90. <sighs> Blake, my, my relationship with God is... Is very important to you. I get that. Well, no, actually, I don't get that. But I do respect that. I don't think I could do it. I mean, I just don't think I could date somebody without having sex. <sighs> Does this mean that you and Olivia... You haven't had sex? I mean, it, it, it's just how would you know that that's right for you? That this is, that, that you're meant to be together? Okay. <laughs> I feel much better. So, let's just not talk anymore. Let's just, let's get some work done. Okay. Just some work. <laughs> Okay, Havenhurst checks into his hotel tomorrow. You and I told you how demanding he was, right? Yes, yes. I've already collected all the bios for the journalists that he's going to be speaking to at the junket, so they will all be ready and prepped in his room when he checks in. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Hi. Hey. Hey. No, you cannot steal her to go work for you at the weekend again because she is too invaluable to me, and I'm not letting her go. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to steal her. I just want to borrow her just for one day. Is, is this about the beacon? No, the beacon I can handle. This is right up your alley. Emma wants us to make these for the Bauer barbecue. Oh. What? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be here working until 5. Hmm. Oh, no, you can leave. You, I insist. I insist. You have done so much for me already to help me catch up. You go. go. Sure? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. See ya. What's wrong? Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I just want to let you know that I'm, I left Philip a message. I want to tell him what we're planning on doing. Yeah? You told Philip we're going to tell him about us? Mm -hmm. What happens if he disagrees? Well, then we'll know before the barbecue, right? Got to be realistic. There's bound to be somebody there who's not going to be happy to see us together, whether it's Rafe or Philip or anyone else. Okay. That doesn't scare you? No. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. My opinion is I'm happy. Okay. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. 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 Hey, red, white, and blue food coloring. We might have to go to a specialty store for that. No, no, no. Oh. <gasps> coloring. This is why we yeah. need you, because you're the expert on patriotic. Baked greens. Yes. Yes, that's true. Oh, you know what we need? Um, marshmallows. Okay. I can get marshmallows. Okay. Oh, nothing. What? No, I called Philip and I left him a message. I guess he didn't get it or maybe he's ignoring me. But anyway, I'm going to call him back. Okay. I forgot something. What? I 
run back in the store and get it. But go ahead, I'll, I'll be right behind you to make your phone call. Okay. Great. your messages. Oh, good, because because I didn't get yours. Excuse me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unpack these inside. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm trying to do this co-parenting thing. I can't do that if you don't return my calls. I know, and I'm sorry. Um, I had something that I had to take care of, but you're right. I should have called you back. I'm right. Yeah. And I'll, I'll try to do better. Okay. You and I need to figure out how to respect each other because I, I need your help. Okay. Emma adores you and she needs you and we need to be able to get along for her sake, you know? So you need to mark your calendar off, you know, her sweet 16 or prom or graduation. I expect you to be there each and every one. I just want to give you a heads up before I talk to Emma. And I don't think that you can change my mind, okay? Okay. Natalia and I have made a decision. We're going to sit Emma down and we're going to tell her about us. She doesn't know? No. No, she, she, she doesn't. But we're going to sit her down, we're going to talk to her, and then we're going to go to the Ballard Barbecue. Together. Say something. I do have one request. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> if you could arrange it so I could be around when Rick figures it out, I'd kind of like to watch his head explode. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> hey, like I'm, uh, I'm not making fun, and uh, you know I, I, I've already told you I don't have any issue with you. I'm telling you. I think she's great, and as long as Emma is happy and she secure, is. I know, I know, and so I say go for it. But you know, you're you're gonna turn a few heads at the barbecue. You know, people are gonna talk. Oh, I know. I can see you guys hanging around the grill with little grill tools, making stupid frat boy jokes. There probably will be some of that. Although you never know. People may just look at the two of you and say, "Look how happy they are." I don't really care what people say. I just... Oh, look, if Reva showed up with a woman, I would make a few jokes myself. I don't want Emma to hear anything. Well, if I hear anybody saying anything bad about you in front of Emma, don't worry, I'll shut it down. And, and Rafe and Frank, too, because they don't deserve that. No, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I think everything is going to be okay. start without you, okay? Five minutes away. I got it. I'm excited about the barbecue, too. I'm very excited.
I would never do that. You need to wash your hands. All right. So, what do we do? Um, where's the little saucepan? It's next to the pots. And we need glasses. But we need butter. We need butter right? and wax paper. Okay, butter's in the fridge. And, and wax paper and, and the jar. I know. Excellent. Now what? Now Some we mystery. need a spatula. Okay. It's in the sink. Might need to be washed. All right. There you go. This is going to be so exciting. I hope everybody at the barbecue loves them. They're going to love them. They're going to love, love, love them. Are you kidding? Can we do the egg toss tomorrow and then the three-legged race and then eat five hamburgers each? Yes, yes. And no, we're not going to eat five hamburgers. It's going to make your tummy sick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great 4th of July. It's going to be the best one ever. Really? Uh-huh. I never heard you say that. You always complained about barbecues. You say it was too hot, your feet hurt, and the food stinks. What's your point? Do I say all that really? Yeah. Why are you so into it this year? Because I'm going to be with my two favorite girls in the world. How could I not be? <laughs> oh, there. Read that to Mommy. She can't see. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Where's my tie? I want to start mixing. She is upstairs. Her tummy's not feeling so good. Okay, give her a minute. Maybe I should go check on her. All right, go check on her. That sandwich, it was a little dicey. Yeah, I don't think it was the sandwiches. We couldn't start making the Rice Krispie treats without you. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You guys worry too much. I'm fine. See? Really? Because you, you look a little pale. No, I think that maybe it was just the heat today, and I didn't drink enough water. But I'm fine. Did you get everything all, all set and ready? Yep. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why, don't you just, why don't you go lie down and the, the treats can wait? No. I'm fine. I promise. And we're going to go downstairs and we're going to make the most patriotic Rice Krispies anyone has ever seen. All right. All okay. right. I'll guard the marshmallows because somebody tries to steal them. Who? Who, you? Oh. Snap. <laughs> Will you do the three-legged race with me? Me? What about what I? I got my leg already. Look. <laughs> no offense, but Natalia's faster, and I really want to win. But you can be on Rafe's team. Oh, I can. Can I? Fine. I'll be on. I want to be on Rafe's team. You know that? I want. I want us all, you and me, and Natalia and Rafe, to be a team one day. Not just at the barbecue, but every day. It's perfect. Should we try one? No, we can't cut it. It's supposed to stay perfect for the barbecue. Oh, 
Well, you did an amazing job, Emma. I had help from you. What, what happened to me? What'd I do? <laughs> Nothing? I Can you go you get I... ice cream now? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh we'll all go. How's that? Well, actually, I'm gonna hang back here, just clean up a little bit. But you guys go. It's okay. ice cream. Would you take that out? Put your hands under it, baby. Under it, okay? Take that out of the car and I'll be right out, okay? Okay. So, um, I was just thinking and realizing as we were doing this that, you know, we're, we're a family because we do things together. And not that I know much about the real kind of family thing. This is the first bona fide experience I've had. Me too. That's why I know when we talk to Emma, everything's going to be okay. Olivia. It will be okay. Because she loves you so much and you love her. It shows. I just know, I know this is going to be a great day tomorrow. I can't wait. I know. Ferrari? No, even better. An oven. Courtesy of some anonymous benefit. It wouldn't be you, would it? Oh, you know, I love you, but I, that this stove oven thing is not my specialty. It's more Natalia's. Are you okay? Yep, great. Why? You look incredibly happy. Oh my gosh, call a doctor. Okay. <laughs> People are beginning to see that little twinkle in your eye. You're gonna have to think up some explanation. No, no, I'm not, because Natalia and I, we are going to the Bauer Barbecue together. Together? Is it together together? Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> so you already told Emma? No, 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 we're gonna do that tonight. But then after that, she and I are gonna get on with spending our lives together and being happy. Natalia. Hey. Are you okay? Like you were right. I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm pregnant. So it was before Olivia and I even, you know, told each other how we felt. This is Frank's baby. When did you find out? I just found out. I took a home pregnancy test. And I really need, you can't tell anyone. I won't. I won't. Frank is my friend. But you are my friend as well, so I, I, I just want to help. I, I, I think you should get checked out. You should go to Cedars and, 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 and take a real test because these home pregnancy tests, sometimes they're just not accurate and who knows, maybe you're not even pregnant. I was just picturing the look on people's faces when we show up at the barbecue together. I mean, I know <laughs> that Reva is going to have a crack or two. <laughs> and Alan. Well, you know, um, Philip understands. He supports us, so he'll have our back. I wonder what Ashley's going to say when she hears. Maybe she'll be the first one to congratulate us. Maybe. I am a little nervous thinking about it, though. No, well, that's the point, right? No, I mean, I want people to see how normal we are. How we're just like every other couple, except unlike half of them, we actually like being together. <laughs> you are absolutely giddy. I think I need another drink. You can have what I have, you know. Yeah, sure I can. And I can also wear a size two. Natalia and I weren't looking for this, it just happened. And, and, and now I, I can't imagine my life without her. When we're together, it's like things are how they're supposed to be. And I've never felt this way with anyone else. Not just for the water. Thank you for being here with me. You're gonna be fine, you know that, right? Mr. Vera. Oh, hi. The blood test confirmed that you are pregnant. 
How far along is she, doctor? Well, we'll schedule a sonogram to determine that, but I'd say at least several months. Congratulations, Miss Rivera. If you have any questions, please let me know. It's true. How did I not know this? Sometimes we just don't see it. It should have been pretty obvious. I mean, the symptoms, the nausea and the dizziness. I mean, I, don't, I think maybe I did know, and I, maybe I just didn't want it to be true. I'm gonna, I'll be right out, sorry. Okay. Listen, Emma's going to be home from a friend's house in, like, a couple of hours. I thought that we would order some dinner and have a regular, you know, family night, and then we would sit down and we would talk to her together. Oh, that sounds great. I just, I can't do that tonight. Why? Um, something came up. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course. No, yeah, I just, I have to take care of it. Okay. We'll just, we'll tell her tomorrow before the barbecue. I'm really looking forward to walking in there together, you know, like a real family. And I know I'm being a big cheese ball, but um, I'm just so happy for us. Me too. Okay, call me later. I love you. I love you too.